How's it going everyone? Uh, 2015 Jetta. I'm uh, going to go over how to change the front strut assembly. One thing uh, I did want to talk about is there are two different size struts out there for Volkswagens. Uh, one is a 55 millimeter and one is going to be a 50 millimeter. Uh, make sure you have the right uh, size before you start because a 55 will not fit in a uh, Volkswagen Jetta. So it started a couple couple days ago. I heard a clunking in the front. So sure enough, I looked at the driver's side. We have a broken coil spring right here. Um, so I went online. I ordered um, a new strut assembly and then realized that uh, it was a 55 millimeter. Of course, 55 millimeter does not fit. So um, in the uh, description, I'll post a link to uh, a strut assembly that's available for a 50 millimeter and a lot of people out there were looking for one but not able to find one um, so I was able to track one down uh, actually two down I'm going to do both sides and um, if you call the Volkswagen dealership for a 50 millimeter strut assembly they do not sell the full assembly they will only sell a strut separate and then you'll have to buy the the bearing and the boot as well as the coil spring separate as well as the uh, top bracket here as well. When they are parted all separately like that, of course, it's more expensive. I called the uh, Volkswagen dealer uh, this morning just to get a, a comparison and it was going to be C 650 out the door for one strut. So um, obviously this one here that I found uh, online, um, there isn't many out there that are 50 millimeter that uh, are a full assembly kit like this. So um, I advise if you are looking for a 50 millimeter, um, like I said, the, the link is in the description. I know some people were asking. Um, on this, you can tell just kind of by looking at it, that's a 50 millimeter um, bottom. Um, and of course, this is it's slightly different, but the, the 55s are like about this thick all the way down almost to the bottom where it then tapers. And again, that will not fit uh, a lot of Jettas as well as some other Volkswagens. So uh, now that I kind of give a description, I'm going to get to um, setting up the steps ready to go. And uh, I'm going to do a, a brief video for each step along the way. Thanks. So uh, just wanted to show a quick comparison between the two here. This is going to be your 55 millimeter. You can see the difference in just the thickness down here. Um, definitely much thicker uh, than the 50 millimeter. So make sure you know which one you need before you order it because uh, they can get pretty expensive. So the first thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to take off the, the wheel and tire here. Um, pretty straightforward. Jack it up, support it with jack stands, pop off the hubcap. Um, and remove the tire okay wheel has been removed um, just wanted to give you a sense here of, of what we have to disconnect um, one thing I did want to bring up you want to jack up the other side of the car because this um, sway bar that you had to disconnect provides some pressure um, when the other tires on the on the ground or on the floor it's gonna put some pressure upwards on this so it helps if you jack up the other side of the car at least get the tire off the floor uh help you out just make things a little bit easier especially when you have to you know bring this assembly down to get that strut out so um next step is going to be um we're gonna remove this bolt here i've already jacked up the other side so the tension's off um we're also gonna remove the the nut and bolt here um i do know that they take a special a wrench to hold this other side over here um, I found uh, a Torx um, bit that kind of fits somewhat close in there enough to hold it um, and then this up here has an Allen head in there it's it's not really easy to get a wrench in there um, you know so I, I I know on the other side I actually had to use uh, a pair of vice grips just to hold the, the metal uh, ring on the inside so um, whatever works easiest for you. I mean, if you have a wrench or uh, that will fit on there, uh, you could also use that. So next steps, um, I'm going to remove that 
and uh, the bolt down here as well. Uh, it also doesn't hurt if you spray some penetrating fluid down here on the bottom. Um, just help uh, get that saturated so it'll hopefully come out a little easier. As an added note, if you're unsure what size strut housing you have, uh, you very well could buy one of these um, cheapy calipers. Um, it converts both inch and millimeter. Uh, you can use that um, once you kind of zero it out here. You can measure the bottom of your strut and realize, well, all right, we're right about 50. Um, you know, if I come over to these strut um, components here, you can see the, the one that I have um, that I purchased right about 50. Um, the other one that's a 55, at the bottom where it's tapered, it's going to be 50, uh, but it tapers almost immediately up to a little over 54 millimeters. So uh, if you're not sure what your car takes, you can simply just take off the wheel, get one of these um, little cheap caliper uh, meters or, or micrometer, I believe it is, um, and then you can you can measure it, and then you'd know, all right, my car is going to take a, a 50 or a 55. The 55 millimeter uh, strut assemblies are all over eBay, um, range in price from maybe 100 a piece right on up to maybe 200 a piece. Um, the 50 millimeter, like I said, a little bit harder to find. Um, and, uh, you know, you can either price it out separately, which is somewhat expensive at the dealer, or um, kind of purchase it online where I bought it. So, so next thing I'm going to do, again, is take out these two bolts. Uh, that'll free everything up. Um, and uh, be back shortly.